Welcome to an overview and demonstration on Automation Hub. My name is Sean and I'm a technical marketing manager here at Red Hat. Let's get started. Automation Hub is a hosted service on cloud.redhat.com. Access to the service is included in your Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform subscription. Automation Hub is how you consume Ansible content. Content is distributed and packaged as Ansible collections. Ansible collections can be downloaded and installed from Automation Hub. These collections include playbooks, modules, plugins, and more that your automation team can consume and use in their automation environments. To reach Automation Hub, log in to cloud.redhat.com and click on the link on the Ansible Automation Platform card. Only certified collections exist in Automation Hub. By using content from Automation Hub, you know it is fully supported by Red Hat. The light bulb in the lower right corner alerts you about important information. Whoa, Ansible Fest is approaching. I can't wait to go. I can toggle the view here to display the collections in a different way. I am looking for the AWS collection. I can easily filter the collections by typing keywords here. To get more information on the collection, I can click on the name. Automation Hub provides the commands to install this collection on the command line. You can also download the collection directly to your computer. This allows you to easily share content in disconnected environments. Every collection includes a readme. Every component from modules to roles has to be documented for the collection to be accepted into Automation Hub. This collection has lookup plugins, modules, and inventory plugins. In this view, clicking on a module will take me to the repository hosting the readme. However, I can view all the Ansible content broken out easily in Automation Hub by clicking on the Contents tab. Clicking on a module here will show me the documentation for this particular module. Notice in the top right corner that I can also filter by version. This means I can retrieve the documentation for a particular version of this Ansible collection. Scrolling down, I can see that every parameter for this module is well documented. Towards the bottom of the module documentation, there are practical examples. These examples can be cut and pasted into your own Ansible playbooks and customized. Finally, return values are also documented at the very bottom of the documentation. These values are returned when the task completes. You can also sort content by Red Hat partners. Each partner has a namespace. For example, A10 Networks owns the A10 namespace. Amazon owns the Amazon namespace, and so on and so forth. A namespace can contain multiple collections. This Cisco namespace has multiple collections for different Cisco network platforms. I'm going to go ahead and look at the NXOS collection. As you can see, the Cisco NXOS collection has the same layout and organization as the Amazon collection. This intuitive interface makes learning and using new content seamless for automation developers. Ansible content is automatically broken out in Automation Hub and can be easily sorted using the Contents tab. I am not going to cover the My Namespaces section for this video. This is where you would organize your content and publish to Automation Hub. Finally, I want to show you how to find the Automation Hub documentation. By clicking the documentation on the left menu, it will create a new tab. By scrolling down the page, you will see an Automation Hub section and a Getting Started Guide. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through setting up your own Ansible environment to use Automation Hub. I will cover a Getting Started Guide in another video. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on Ansible and Automation Hub, please visit ansible.com.